Okay, so here's the third and final video for the reflections painting, and I'm going to um, I'm going to do a time lapse of the house. I'm I'm not going to go through the demo of the house, but I'll paint it in really quickly, and I'll show you the colors I made for that. So I've got uh, kind of a, a brownish purple here, and uh, I made that with alizarin crimson, some sap green, some ultramarine, and some white, and then I um, made more of a bluish gray by just adding more white and blue. So I'm going to use these two colors to block in the cabin uh, that's above the water. So I'll do that first. Okay, so I've done a bit more work on the cabin, and it's not completely finished, but it's pretty well blocked out, and um, sometimes less blending is better with the oil, because if you over blend it, it just becomes muddy. So you can use, I here I use two different brushes with, with the purplish gray and the sort of bluish gray, and I kind of... Um, blotch them together to get the texture and added the windows. And I'll go and do more, but it's so wet now, I can't really do a whole lot. So now we're gonna do the reflections. And um, the reflections in the water is kind of like, it's like a wavy mirror. It's like a fuzzy mirror of the um, of what's above. So I'm gonna use the same paint and the same brushes, and but then I'm gonna use, um, I'll show you how you use this fan brush to sort of blur and, um, make that that reflection a little bit fuzzy and we're really gonna rely on the oil here and um, I'm gonna use also a, at the end I'm gonna use a large brush to add in some of the the white um, highlights of the water that streak in from the uh, from the sides All right, so first we'll start with getting the details of the house kind of put into the water. And here you want to use a light touch and just kind of fuzz the brush strokes. So you can see that with a, when, when you use a light touch, the paint actually, um, it doesn't really, well, it should be sticking better than it is. It seems to be not sticking to the surface where I, <laughs> where I need it to stick. But if I put enough on there, it'll stick. Um, but if you use a light touch, you should get, uh, you should get a sort of a dry brush, kind of like this, this stroke over here is good. This doesn't really have to be exact, except for the fact that you don't want, want whatever you're reflecting to go sort of outside the scale of the one above it, as long as it's like pretty close. All right, I'll switch to the kind of purplish brown. There's a lot of purple brown kind of near the shoreline. All right, this paint, the more paint I put down, the more it's sticking, so. And you can add in, you can see, like, if you see any of these streaks from the shadows in the water, kind of add those in. 
And remember to space out the streaks. Don't put them too close together. Remember, it's like a fuzzy mirror. That's kind of what the water is like. So there's a good start. All right, now I'm going to use this big brush and get some water. And I'm just going to go in with white now, maybe like a little bit of blue. Uh, I think I had cerulean blue was my original blue that I used with the water. So, you know, all your colors for the, for the top part are going to be the same as the colors for the bottom part. So now add this in, and now this will kind of kind of fuzz the edges and add in some of those highlights. You want to go with a very light touch here because it will pick up as you as you blend the areas together. The light color will pick up the darker color. Like I said, really relying on the oil a lot. You want the surface to be pretty slick. So now I'm ready for the fan brush. Now the fan brush, it doesn't matter what it looks like um, or how old it is, as long as the bristles are soft. So just check that the bristles are fairly soft and um, kind of spaced evenly from each other. And then the way you use the fan brush is you always hold it um, horizontal or, or um, yeah, horizontal and parallel with the surface of the painting. So you don't want to hold it like this. You want to hold it like this. And then very, very gently you brush up and then you can go kind of diagonally down and then go across. And you can see that it kind of streaks the paint, especially the wet paint. So you want to just go back over these areas. And brush it off every now and then. Don't over blend it. Because then you'll lose the effect. But just enough of kind of a light touch will give the surface kind of a watery sheen. Okay, and then I can go back in and repeat what I did with the fan brush and touch up other areas and kind of finish up the details of the painting.